All right, I'm going to upload this. Keep it under a minute. For all of you out there who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, who made all things, there was nothing that was made without Him. All things that were made were made by Him, for Him. If you don't think for one second, number one, the Bible is true. He knew you in your mother's womb. He knew what you do. The numbers, I don't care how I look. To you, I have no, I have no, I don't care. All I'm telling you is that He knows you. He knows the numbers on your hair. And that if you do not repent, there's a place that you will go. And because I, I have some memory problems, sometimes I'll forget to upload something when I should be uploading it. And he's saying, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now. It's like a record player going round and round and round. And anyone who knows a record player, and when he takes that thing off, whatever it's called, and it's playing the record, then there's rest that comes. If you don't think for one second that not only are we but ashes and dust, he knows every sparrow that hits the ground. All the animals were made by him, no matter what it is, the fish that, whatever fish that picked up Jonah, swallowed him in his mouth, and he was in the belly of that fish for three days, and you can believe that because God cannot lie. Wrapped in seaweed, I wonder this, I wonder, not only do I wonder, but I firmly believe that from the moment that the Lord Jesus Christ came out of his mother's womb, the Virgin Mary, his earthly father, Joseph, who did not conceive with Mary, if you don't believe that, number one, you got big problems, friend. And number two, once you come to the realization and you look out in the stars, he made the stars also. Read the book. If you don't come to the realization that he can do with anything or anybody at any time, he sets up kings, he takes them down. He reigns on the just and the unjust. Let me tell you something, dear friend. If you do not fear God, and if you do not even think for a second that He doesn't know what you're doing, you're wrong. Because there's nothing done in secret that is not that will not be made manifest. There is nothing done in secret places. I don't care who it is, where they are. If it's Bill Clinton, if it's Barack Obama, George Soros, even Donald Trump, and I, I voted for him. I didn't vote for him because I believed he was a moral man, but I, I believe he loved this country and he was a patriot. So let me tell you this and I'll stop. Once you come to the realization that you have sinned so bad and that your sins and mine, me, I, nailed the only begotten Son of God, the only one, he only had one, and his name was the Lord Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. Jesus, the one Savior, the only one that can save, the only way, the only truth, the only life. If you do not enter in through the Lord Jesus Christ, if you do not enter in through the door, he said, I am the door by me. If any man enters in, you will be saved. My question to you is, have you entered into that door? You may know who the door is. You may know the door. You may see the door. But if you do not open that door, the Father and the Son will not dine with you. They will not sup with you. They will not be made themselves known to you until you put your trust and reliance in them, believe in them, talk to them, cry out to them in your heart, feel contrition and remorse over these wicked, sinful things that we do as sinners and that I've done 
and have still done and sometimes still do yet you grieve and when you grieve and you know that you've offended the Lord who made everything and you cry out to him like David did once he realized when he was ratted out he may have thought well man I thought I was going to get by with this and then he realized in Psalm 51 real quick and he cried out to God read Psalm 51 you do that my friend you cry out to God you do it you do it now because he knows you he knew you in your mother's womb but if you choose to believe a lie rather than the truth the truth being Jesus Christ he says I am the truth if you choose to believe a lie or a fable and turn away from the truth that is the Lord Jesus Christ if you turn away from him you will go to hell period once you are a born again Christian he will keep you sealed until the day of redemption forever and ever and ever you will be seated as I sit here you will be seated it says we are seated in heavenly places as of this moment right now he knows every word I'm saying and he knows my heart and he knows yours only he can read it I can't read your heart I don't know what you're thinking I don't know what you did today but I can assure you there is one who does know and I will say this and I will say it with all confidence because God cannot lie Titus 1 2 you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free John 8 32 Titus 1 2 God cannot lie He's incapable of lying. Literally, he cannot lie. If you don't turn to him, and if you don't repent, he said, fear not the one that can kill the body. Fear the one that can kill both the body and the soul and cast that soul into hell fire. I say unto you this day, fear him. He was speaking of himself, the Lord Jesus Christ. Open up the book of Luke. Go to chapter 12. Go to verse 5. Read it for yourself. Don't believe me. Believe the book. Believe the gospel. Obey it. Believe it. Live it. Take a hold of it. And live it. Don't just say it. Live it. Don't just say I'm a Christian. Be a Christian. Don't just say, I know who the light is. Be a light. Let your light so shine before men so that others may know. Paul said to live as Christ, to die as gain. Dear friend, if you do not repent, he said repent or perish. And if you think perish means to just lose rewards, like you've been deceived by all these wicked false teachers out there and they're everywhere on YouTube and they're Satan's agents they are enemies of the cross it's offensive to them why because it points you to the truth and the truth is the Lord Jesus Christ who hung for you on a cross and died for your sins and if you do not repent 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 there is only one place for you that you will go and you will be there forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and you might as well say that forever as many times as you will count for an eternity my Lord and my God why did I not believe the truth I chose to believe this guy over here who's making rock video music casting people into hell portraying himself to be Jesus Christ then you have been fooled you have been deceived you have believed the father of lies repent or perish you must be born again you must be born again there's no maybe there's no I wish I could have been I wish I, I should have been I could have been I'll think about it I'll wait I'll wait I'll do it some other time when it's more convenient not right now I, I enjoy too much of what I'm doing I can't just I'm not gonna just stop doing what I'm doing just because you want me to do it no today is the day of salvation you don't know if you're gonna to have tomorrow don't boast yourself of tomorrow I don't care if I've got 
boogers on my nose or my hair is falling from my head, I don't care if I die tomorrow. But if I die, I know in whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he and he alone is able to keep that to which I have saved. I can keep nothing. Only the Lord Jesus Christ can keep you. You can't keep yourself. You can't earn your way into heaven. You can't baptize your way into heaven. You can't buy your way into heaven. You don't get baptized in water and it, people think it will wash you from your sins. Otherwise, why did the Lord Jesus Christ stand there in the Jordan River with John the Baptist? And you, if you know the conversation, I suggest you read it and read it fast. The Lord Jesus Christ was without sin. He had no need to be baptized. He was being baptized to identify himself as the one who would come in to save the world that was prophesied in the Old Testament. And he came to fulfill exactly what Isaiah said in chapter 53. And he did it. He did it for you. He did it for me. If you don't repent, he will not make you free. That's it. Do it. I pray to God you will do it. I am not the Holy Ghost. I cannot convict you of your sins. Only the Holy Ghost can convict you of your sins. Godly remorse will lead you into repentance, which will lead you into salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, 8 to 11. Read it. Read it. Read it. Make a decision. Choose you this day whom you will serve. And make it the right decision. Otherwise, you will pay for an eternity. God cannot lie.